it starts right away from the this scene that we play saw in a trailer. I see. Jump slash. Yes. Oh, you're so cool, Link. But this is not your game now. Oh, this is different. Then. In Link's Awakening, you only had eight directions to go to, but in Echoes of Wisdom, you have all the directions. Now we're reaching Ganon. There he is. Oh, he talks too. It's you again. This makes me feel like Ganon and Link has already fought before. Oh, that's a bomb too when you charge it. Alright, I see. Yes. When is the last time we had Dennis in any form? Oh, the bomb too got him. Let's go. No, oh, he's laughing because uh, he knows uh, it's not over. Oh, no. Now it's Zelda's turn to be a hero. Yes! She's free! This is the hooded cloak that the swordsman in the green dropped. Okay, so Zelda and Link doesn't know each other in this game, it seems. Okay, where are we actually? Like, what was that at Ganon's castle or not? Where we just were? I'm pretty sure they made Link's Awakening remake to see if they can create a game like this. So they, it it was uh, <laughs> a test for Creso. And it seems like it worked well, so they made this uh, a br brand new Zelda game where Zelda is the main character. Yeah, she is not talking at all. A swordsman in green saved you from a fell beast. They don't know Link's name, dude. <laughs> Uh-oh. It's here too. No! The king! There's monsters spawning. Oh no. Oh, it's a darker version of them. What? They're being controlled by Ganon. Now she gets a... Tri Rod. I like this uh, because it's, it feels different from other Zelda games. Uh. You can only imagine how creative the speedruns will be. Yeah, I can imagine. Once I've beaten the game, uh, I'll look into speedrunning this. Uh, if uh, I enjoy the game enough uh, that I wanna try it out myself. Uh. <laughs> she beat the hell out of them! <laughs> I mean, of course, because uh, she's a Sheik after all. <laughs> Oh, the spinning is not like that much faster, but it is uh, cool at least. Uh, ah, I see. Yeah, the game is uh, teaching you all of these things now. We want to make this uh, like that. So we can jump over, easy peasy. <laughs> oh yes, it got it. Next. Take it. No, it lost. I think one thing that can be annoying is uh, changing those echoes a lot. When you want to fight, you have to change the echo again. Then you have to... You want to build something, change the echo again. At first I was thinking this may not be... A kind of a Zelda game I would like to play, but I was proven wrong so fast when the second trailer showed up. I already liked the Link's Awakening remake, so I knew I would like this, but the gameplay felt so weird at first, but obviously it's a Zelda, Zelda who we're playing as, so it's not like we're gonna use sword and bows all the time, but I was thinking she would cast some magic to deal damage. 
Link is a young fellow from this village. He's better with a sword than anyone. Well, there you go then. That's where he's coming from. Will you say anything if I throw this? <laughs> okay, she react to it. <laughs> oh, it's eating. That's why it's uh, being like that. What? My echo is eating too. Are you kidding me? Now they're fighting. <laughs> this combat is so tense. Oh, I can do this too. Take it. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. So th that's a that's a, like a camp uh, where we gonna get an item. Okay. So if we here we go to the rift, uh, then we can uh, save this area. Upside down of a. Oh, so it's the part. It's this. These are parts of the world. Yep, that has potential. Oh yeah, it feels like a dungeon. Now. Traditional solar dungeon, yes. Wait, you can just move the chest instead? I mean, okay, I was about to climb up that. Oh yeah, does the bed heal me? It does. I don't think I've missed anything because there's just nothing else. Uh, there's just nothing else here. I don't get it. Uh, it's so weird. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That makes sense. Almost forgot. A brand new ability and I just uh, played it dumb. That's Link. But well, that's not uh, the Link we know. Zelda gonna fight Link, oh yes. A boss room! <laughs> Ouch. No! Okay, rest, rest, rest. Quickly! Heal! Heal! <laughs> I took your shield. <laughs> Hey, I got him. Never mind, I didn't get him. Oh, he's faster now. Intense combat. Nice. Woo! That was fun, actually. We got a mysterious sword. That cannot be Master Sword. Or is it? No, it cannot be. It doesn't look like it at all. Oh, what happened? Oh! She became a sword fighter all of a sudden. What? I didn't expect that at all. That is amazing. I think that one we can only kill when we have something to shoot through that. Oh wait, can I u just use this? Uh, I can. Of course, makes sense. There you go. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. It's on it! You have no idea how happy I am to see a dungeon with small keys, puzzle solving, Boss key, there's a boss store we go through to fight the boss, like, oh, the traditional Zeldas are so back now. Ah, uh, Andros? No, it's not Andros, it's Seismic Talus. Cool. Alright, how do we fight this guy? Ah. Oh. Yep. Ok, 
Okay, I have an idea. I wanna, I wanna try it. Yes, it hit! Oh yeah, you can jump to uppercut. Nice. Was a simple boss fight, but at least I had to think a little bit how to do it. How am I liking the game? The game is uh, cute. It's charming, colorful, fun. Feels like a nostalgic Zelda game with some new coat on it. All of the new mechanics and cool things. Then you play as Zelda. And you have all of these different echoes that you can use for combat, uh, exploration, exploration, and so on. It's a great Zelda game, I love it. I've only beaten one dungeon so far, but hey, I'm making, making progress.